Hi OK, it's Paris Fury. Welcome to my exclusive shoot with OK Magazine. I feel really good. Um, the new baby's come along and he's just a week old today. And yeah, I'm just on cloud nine right now. I had a birthing plan, it went to plan. Um, usually it does with my pregnancies, but yeah, it went to plan. A few little hiccups at the end, um, a few little traumas as usual in a birth, but yeah, he's here and we're happy and healthy. Tyson was there during half of the birth, but this time he is in training camp, so he had to clock out at about 10 or 11 p.m. It didn't look like it was gonna happen, so I said, yeah, go home, it's all right. And sure enough, baby Rico showed up at half two in the morning and Tyson came in at six, seven o'clock the next morning. And it was just one of them things. He's in full training and he's missed a couple of the births now. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make him pay for that one day. We called him Prince Rico Paris Fury. That's his full title. And we named him, mainly he'll be called Rico and it's after Tyson's cousin who got murdered last year. Um, it was a bit of a a sentiment to him and uh, yeah he also I like the name all my kids has got unusual names and I like the name Rico yeah good strong name and he's named after his mum as well because Tyson said that'll be the last one I don't know if it will the reason he's called Prince is all the boys are called Prince we've got Prince Tyson Adonis and now Rico but they've all got the first name of Prince so his first name is Prince Rico Paris Fury it's really cool and it's really awesome until the dentist or the doctor calls up and says, can we talk about Prince, please? And I go, which one? And they literally look and it says, it just says Prince Fury. And I'm like, give me the date of birth. Let me try and remember which one you mean. All my kids has got a bit of an unusual name. Venezuela was something me and Tyson sort of concocted one night. Um, there was no reference to the country Venezuela. I know a lot of people think there's a, a bit of a thing behind that, but there isn't. So we've got Venezuela, who's the oldest, and she's Venezuela Linda after her granny. Then Prince, basically he was getting called John James all along because after my dad and Tyson's dad, and at the last minute I just said, no, he's got to be a prince. I think I was really high off the meds, to be honest. I was three days in labor. And by the time I heard the name Prince, I was like, oh, he's a prince, that's what he's got to be. But anyways, we went with it. So Prince John James, then we got Prince Tyson Luke, who's named after his dad. He was the third child. He got his dad's name. Then Valencia Amber. Again, Valencia we just liked, it kind of went with Venezuela, and Amber was after the other granny, Tyson's mum. Adonis is Adonis Amaziah. It was just a name we liked. We just, we just, I liked it, Tyson liked it. It's got a meaning behind it. Adonis is, he's the male god of beauty in Greek mythology. And then a Messiah is the strength of God in biblical terms. So yeah, he's got a big name to stand up to, <laughs> but that was him. And then the last one was Athena. Athena is the goddess of wisdom and beauty and also Amor, which is love. So she was Athena Amor. So there we go. You've got a big mouthful of all my children's names. <laughs> and then Rico, he is named after his mum. So he can get beat up when he's older, can't he? <laughs> Everybody say, oh, you're a boy named for your mum, but Good name, solid name for a boy, Paris. They've all reacted really well, except for Athena. Her dad came in and um, whenever he comes in, where Athena was ill when she was a baby, he always makes a big fuss of her. He's, he's a bit of her favorite. So then when um, he came in, he shouted, where's me boy, where's me boy? And her, her heart just sank, you saw it. Her lip went, she was really upset. She started saying, no, the boy stinks and like, Big Tyson just literally melted. He put the boy down and picked his girl up and said, no, no, we can't do that. We can't do that to her ever again. I don't know how she's gonna adapt to him, but the rest of the kids, they all want to be like the parent of this new baby. One more to the mix doesn't matter. So one more, if I have, if I had another baby, it doesn't really, it doesn't make or break the system, does it? But I'm not sure. Tyson seems to reckon like, yeah, we've had enough, that's enough now. He always gets worried about me and what can happen and everything else, but I don't know. I don't know. I can't be, I've got to be truthful. I'd, I've got, I've been very blessed and very lucky to have what I've got. So we'll wait and see. Never let your kids sort of hold your back. Don't ever sort of put pressure on yourself to beat somebody else's standards. I think that's good, good parenting skills. And I think just take it a day at a time when you're a new parent, you know, when you've just got that first baby and you don't quite know what to do. It's just take it in your stride and don't compare yourself to other people. But another thing is don't let it hold you back. Don't let it be the be all and end all babies times this, that. I mean, I always believe 
having your baby bag packed. Make sure you've got bottles, milk, nappies, change of outfit, all in the bottom of the baby bag and go out whenever you want to. Don't make a big deal of it. So I think for a newborn parenting, that's quite a good tip. And for older parenting, I have no idea what to do with teenagers. <laughs> I'm just getting there. So yeah, hopefully someone will pass the wisdom on to me. I think the documentary on Tyson's mental health, has, um, the reception of it has been great. I think a lot of people, it spoke to them really well. I think it's a view into life with somebody with mental health issues, the partner being myself, living with it, dealing with it, and processing a long marriage together. We've been together 15 years. You're looking into a, a true relationship that's got its ups and downs. And I think it really went, people resonated with that. And don't get me wrong, we got asked a number of times, oh, you know, could you just, you know, do this or do that? And flat out was like, no, this is us. This is what we do. This is our life. You know, welcome, welcome to the Fury's life. That was it. We had um, the chance to see the show before it aired. We didn't edit anything. There was like these minor little things. One of them was just purely me swearing. I didn't want my dad to see it. That was one of them. But we never had a problem because what got filmed, we had a great team behind it. I've got to commend them. What they shot, there was no agenda. There was no trying to, you know, make you look in a bad light. So what we done was what came out on the TV show. So yeah, we didn't have no, I don't have any regrets or problems with the show. Tyson keeps talking about the vow renewal. Tyson's, um, I think he's hinting now, like, you know, you've got the ring, are you gonna, are we gonna go through with it? But we haven't planned anything. I'd like something small and discreet and like just personal to us. I think Tyson would like something big and crazy. Um, so I don't, nothing's planned, but I think I will have to commend on my, my word, won't I? I said yes, I'm gonna have to do it. <laughs>